hi friends uh, Saurav here welcome back to my channel so uh, today we are going to see classic reports and features of classic report we uh, normally have uh, seen the normal type of classic report where we have data in tabular format but actually we have a lot of uh, you know options and a lot of features in our classic report you can do a lot of stuff with classic report so that is what I'm going to show you today and uh, and and I will for that what I'm going to do I'm going to take you to object browser and will take a help of one of the table and will create classic report out of that table and then we will see how uh, you know uh, what are what different features we have in classic report so let me copy this table and let's open the SQL command and we'll we'll run that <coughs> see how many data we have in that table first so I'll do select star from table name run and we have these informations okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to use this table to create classic report okay so let's go back to this uh, this page and create a uh, create a region inside body i'll right click over here create region and the region will will say as employee and here this is going to be classic report let's make it a sql query and here what a sql query will be is we'll say select uh, employee id first name last name email address phone number these four five th things we will use okay and uh, the name of the table is this employee id last name email address then phone number okay let me copy this and paste it over here validate it and run this save this and run this page okay so now here we got this uh, information okay now now this is this is like normal classic report okay now what different features we have in classic report when you'll edit this region it will go to the attribute and when you'll go to this template we have different type of templates over here let's say i'm going to do i'm going to select alert uh, select alert type template okay here this is the default uh, options template options i'll just select alert and i'll save and run so when you select alert you got something like this okay now the same information same uh, data you can get in this format how you can get that so here you have alert title alert description and alert action okay so instead of uh, what i'll do i'll copy this alert title and here in the region expand this and i'll say this first name or what i'll do is um, I'll concatenate these two values first name concatenated uh, concatenated with last name with a space okay and I'll make this as alert I'll, I'll say that this is alert title okay now what's the next thing we have alert description so what we will what I'll do is I'll write email as alert description let me copy this content control C and I'll paste it over here this is alert description okay and we have alert action so we can write anything over here let's say um, for now what I'll do I'll make a uh, empty space or you can say null value and I'll make that as alert action I'll give an alias name as alert action as uh, for to that so now let me validate it click OK save and run so now when you look into the table here we have this information okay so now this is a you know alert region you can use i mean uh, these these information as per your requirement but i'm just showing you how your classic report can have different features okay let me quickly go back to the template of this thing and i'll make it as uh, blank with attributes so that you can get better look and feel of the report okay so this is one type of you know uh, type of uh, attribute 
uh, template basically you can say now let me show you the the cards okay now when you select cards and when you'll run it you can find that you have these cards got created and now you can use a card title and subtitle and uh, card title card text and subtext to create the report so what i'll do i'll go back to this region again i will go to the sql query and now i'll say that card text card title is a top top uh, place so here i'll give first name and last name so let me remove it card title now card text we have let's copy this card text and give alias name as card text to this and then we have card subtext copy this and give this as card subtext phone number okay alert action is not required for card type now let me validate it click ok save and run and you got the got the number like this you have all this information in card format so this is nothing but a classic report but you can uh, you know look, uh, change the representation of data with with some you know minor changes in 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 in, in the appearance of the template now if i'll show you the comments and just save and run you look into the comment type so this is basically we use to you know uh, if you have some some data which which is looking like a comment okay so you can use a comment text and different attributes and username comment date actions all these things you can even use it here as well but yeah this maybe this with this data this this information is not will not look good so let's go back uh, let's let's uh, go to another template content row and here you have this content row again you can choose you know you can make this these you can use these things uh, as alias name of the table let me show you so our first one is title and then description let's use this title and description first what i'll do i'll go back to region go to this place i'll make it as title then we have another one is a description uh, let's say this email is description then you have miss misc miss you can use phone number as misc let's validate and run it so you just have to change the alias name and you'll get you know accordingly data over here so you can see things are things are coming properly icon html icon so you can use any icon over here selection again you can use any selection type tag so let's say if i'll say let's take some more data mm, higher date i'll say copy higher date and uh, higher date and I'll, I'll say that selection is higher date so I'll just say selection no, now validate it ok run and here this higher date came ok so you can give your information as per your requirement I, I'm just showing I'm just showing you the the representation of data ok so this is uh, another type of template now if I'll go back and I'll look into this uh, any other maybe media list you can try uh, one by one all this and you can comment below that you get stuck anywhere or you found something new if you find something new so you can let me know that whatever your uh, you know finding is now this is media type okay you, here we have list title and list text you can uh, we can use this alias name to you know get the data so what i'll do here is i'll just make it as list title then we have list text so i'll make this as list text and uh, we don't require this we don't require this remove the alias name from here if you have additional column uh, then also this uh, this is not going to create any problem you just have to alias give a proper alias name to the to the column which you want to show in the front end okay save and run so here you got the data and one more thing i want to show you that you are you are just choosing the template accordingly you are making changes over here in the query that is fine 
you have one more option as template options when you'll go to this place you will you can find that you have different type of re representation of data if you'll click on show badges click ok save and run then you'll see that your uh, information gets changed here you can show the batch something like uh, it's it's uh, it's approved or pending or uh, you know in progress you can show the status of any request or something like that okay now let me go back and i'll say apply color theme i'll say to column grid and size will be default and let it be as it is I have done some setting changes and we'll we'll see that here yeah so this data got changed so this is how you can you know uh, show your uh, data accordingly so similarly we have different type of themes you can choose search result timeline all these things you can expl uh, explore by yourself and let me know if you get uh, any new idea or you want me to show something else as well so that's it for today I just wanted to show you how classic report can play a uh, you know a great role when you're creating application actually we normally used to ignore classic report but this is not like that we can use classic report at different places as per the requirement and to uh, you know to give a proper and interactive uh, uh, user uh, experience to the end user okay so that's it for it for today let me know if you have any questions thank you bye